like taking chances I feel a lot like 17 Like when I close my eyes Like making big mistakes I feel like for the first time in a long time I am not afraid I feel like a kid Never thought it'd feel like this Like when I close my eyes When I close my eyes
is bound to overtake us If I had a ride a storm Of the greatest love in time I would have a scene of you How I miss branching your divine And the romance that we had Oh, it's easy by design I was fortunate to find I'm still blown away your mind Cause I hear yours And you will
Good afternoon, everyone. If you will, please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for today. Thank you for waking each of us up, and thank you for Kentucky Wesleyan College and the students, faculty, and staff that you have brought here. We all know that we wouldn't be here without you, Lord. We just want to lift up the sick and suffering, the depressed and anxious, and the lost and lonely on this campus. Let them look to you and let your presence be known. We ask for motivation and a strong worth ethic to finish out the rest of this semester, and we ask that all those receiving awards today use it to glorify you. Let it be your will and not ours. Forgive us and help us. In Jesus' name, amen. I walk up on stage and already somebody starts crying. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. First of all, let me just say welcome to everybody. And we are really here to honor some of the achievements that have happened this year. So I want to start by just giving yourselves a round of applause. I love this time of year. It is finally. Everything is over, all the work has been accomplished, and, and we get to sit back and celebrate some of, of those, uh, that work that has come to fruition. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about liberal arts education. And there's always a question of, should you be in liberal arts education? We should be more focused in what we do. We shouldn't take this breadth of, of classes. And, and I'm always having to try to respond, and, and for me, it's an easy response. And why do you get a liberal arts education? One, well, 45% of workplace tasks in today's society are at risk of being automated. So if I listen to those pundits in 10 years, I should be addressing a room of robots. I don't think that's going to, I think the automation will happen. So how do you go about in a society where you're going to have to change jobs, probably on average of every two and a half years. You don't want to be narrowly educated. You want to be broadly educated. You want to have a good background. I'll get into some of that background in a second. But one of the fastest growing areas of jobs right now, use tech. So what does that mean for all of you out there who are not computer science majors? How many of you are not computer science majors? Raise your hand. Most of our jobs are growing in tech. But here's the great thing. They're not in the tech field. So what you're going to need is that communication. How do you talk to people about tech? How do you integrate into your field? One of the greatest areas where technology is growing is actually in the use of English, the communications the letters that we're sending, the way that industry is talking to each other, how you work globally within these areas. How many English majors do we have? Yeah, you're going to be tech in a few years, and you're going to be great at it, because you can, you can learn all of those different areas. When you ask employers about the top traits that they like to see and those they bring into their families, into, into their businesses, first thing they talk about is being a good coach. Can you work with other people? Can you help them? Second is being a good communicator. Automation doesn't help if you don't have people there who understand it and can pass that along. Can you talk to those folks with whom you're working? Do you have a clear vision and strategy? Can you sit down and plan? And can you be part of a team? The, the lone wolf of Wall Street is a thing of the past. So how does that help you? Why do I bring this up? I bring it up because each of those items your faculty have already inculcated into the degree that you are earning. And why do I bring these up today? Because you've taken advantage of them. You've taken advantage of each and everything your faculty have offered, each and everything the community has offered, and that's part of why you're here. 
You've been leaders on our campus. You've taken advantage of just about everything. You've taken advantage of, court, of your course room instruction to help build that base of knowledge that you're going to need. You've taken advantage of research and experiential learning outside of the classroom. How many hours have you put in outside of the classroom on different projects? You're a positive force behind most of the, of the campus activities such as speaking roles, leadership roles. How many of you have done a research project of some type? And that could be in the sciences, it could be research papers, it could be, what was the scariest thing? What was the scariest thing about your project? You. Messing up. I did research as an undergraduate. The scariest thing for me is I had no clue how to start it. I was given a topic and told to go. It's open-ended question, I had no clue. When you're in the classroom, everything's pretty well spelled out. When you're doing a project in the classroom, out of the classroom, that's a very open-ended area. You have to learn to be able to have that clear vision. You have to learn to be a good communicator. You have to learn to be a good coach, because often you're, you're teaching yourself. You know more in these areas even than your faculty member often. That's why we do them. And they're hard. But when you finish, you're a very different person from when you started. You learn to grapple with these issues that have no clearly defined ending. And you've done that. And these are the traits that are going to carry you through until you retire. And you're not going to retire anytime soon. I just I have to let you know. You're going to have at least 10 years or so, unless you get extremely lucky. But it's a dual role that you have found both within and outside of your classroom. So we are here to honor you today, and we will do that. But before we do that, I want you to also thank those people who have gotten you here as well. First, your parents. If they aren't here today, call them. Write them. Let them know how much you appreciate what they've done and their support to get you here. But while you're here, thank your faculty. Thank them for the work they've done both within the classroom and outside the classroom. That's an 18-hour day for most of them. And they do that because they want to see you be the best person possible. They do that out of love. Education does not always pay the best. They are here because they want you to succeed. How many athletes do we have in the room? Thank your coaches. They provide your very first family when you walk onto the campus. You spend more time with your coach in the first two years than you probably do with anybody else. That person really does become your mentor. So thank them today when you see them. I know you complain enough about the workouts, both in the classroom and on the athletic field, and we'll continue to work you hard. But give them some thanks. And most of all, thank our staff. They're often the first interaction you have when you come to campus. They're the people you go to when you want to complain about the faculty or the administration. They lend you that, that ear, don't they? They lend you that, that shoulder on which you can cry. They're there to schedule. They're there to remind people very gently about what is happening. They're the ones who keep everything flowing forward on a day-to-day -day basis. And they are truly that sympathetic ear. So yes, we are here to honor you today. We are so proud of what you've done. But thank those around you. And realize that after today, as you go forward, as you get closer to graduation and graduate and go out, you are going to be the person that everyone is going to be looking to. You are going to be the person that people will, will look to in times for leadership. And you're going to do great. But never forget the one good thing that a leader never forgets are those people who got that person where they are. So that's what I'm asking for you today, is not to forget that. You've been given a wonderful education. You are going to do well. Don't forget those who brought you along. So have fun today. Give yourselves another round of applause. This is going to be a lot of, a lot of fun. Thank you.
Good afternoon. This is a, a great day indeed. This is the, uh, the end of my first year here at Kentucky Wesleyan College and, and you all didn't disappoint. And you know, the table of awards here and the accomplishments that we're gonna read today really are, are quite impressive. And what a great first year I've had and, and getting to know um, all you all. I wanna start um, by first you know, adding to President Mitzel's recognitions of, of the students, but, but mostly the, the support um, for today and the people that made today possible. And that includes uh, facilities and, and Heath Whalen and uh, our, our, our fine custodial staff and also uh, catering. Um, obviously recognize all the, the hard work that our faculty did in this process. The nomination process uh, can be exhaustive and, uh, and really wanna recognize them. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize all the hard work and diligence of Miss Peggy Greer, who's there. So let's give them all a round of applause. So joining us in this afternoon's celebration is Ms. Hillary Landtrip Croft from Kentucky Wesleyan's class of 2014, and she's here to deliver our keynote address. Hillary is a graduate of the of Kentucky Wesleyan College and also a graduate of the Selman P. Chase College of Law and currently assistant county attorney and child support Sur supervisor for Hen Henderson County. She was named 2021 Child Support Attorney of the Year uh, for the state of Kentucky and you might understand why by the time I'm finished. Uh, Hillary is, is very busy, um, it's the easiest way to say it. In addition who, to her demanding roles within the state, she's vice president of the Hopkins County Bar Association adjunct professor of law. She's the chapter of advise, ad, advisor for the Kappa Delta Sorority, a small, small business division leader with the United Way, a member of the Interagency Council, an executive board member for the Young Professionals of Hopkins County, a member of the Hopkins County Job Expo Committee, et cetera, et cetera. Hillary is e exceptional, and we're so pleased to have her with us today. She is mother, uh, mother to four-year-old Kaylin Bruce Croft, who's here today. Try not to scare him with our applause. And uh, married to Daniel Croft. So welcome her to, to the stage. Please, Hillary. <clears throat> and, and Hillary, uh, before you begin, we are ex exceedingly proud of your many early accomplishments, which we feel foreshadow a long and impressive career. And we'd like to uh, add to those accomplishments today uh, by naming you our, uh, our first Kentucky Wesleyan College Distinguished Faculty Fellow in Law for the 2022-2023 academic year. Like traditionally ranked faculty, faculty fellows contribute to the intellectual life of campus through their scholarship, public lectures, and service uh, to and on behalf of the college. Unfortunately, Hillary, you won't participate in any of the real fun of faculty life, like sitting in polyester for two hours. Um, or faculty meetings, student evaluations, accreditation, uh, committee work, et cetera. But we do uh, hope to have you back for uh, other engagements in this, uh, the, this next year. There's also no cash payment that comes with us, but um, we can offer you this beautifully framed award uh, as testament of this recognition, as well as a, a hearty handshake and some applause. So thank you, Hillary. Can you hear me okay? There we go. All right. Usually when Summer Aldridge calls, I usually come beckoning. Anytime she needs me, that's when I'm here. So you always thank her if you see my face around campus. Um, I wanted to start off today and say thank you to Kentucky Wesleyan College and Dr. James Cousins for inviting me to speak today to your honors convocation. Um, it's wonderful to see all the achievements that you all have made throughout your time here, and I look forward to sharing that with you today. I'd like to start off by saying my freshman year was a little rough. I had a little too much fun. Um, at one point in time, towards the end of my fall semester of freshman year, Dr. Conroy threatened to call my mother to straighten me out. <laughs> that was the kick in the butt I needed to get serious about school. And I had to teach myself how to study. 
I swear, every time I would turn in a paper to Dr. Conroy, I would get it back and it was marked up, completely red. You would have thought that paper was bleeding. But one paper at a time, there was less and less red ink. Um, as Dr. Cousin said, I had joined Capital Delta Sorority and became an active member of the Political Science Club here on campus. I even started to find my academic confidence. They let me be a tutor here. It was pretty impressive. Uh, by the end of my sophomore year at Kentucky Wesleyan, I started to truly find my place here and loved it. But it was as soon as I got comfortable, it was time to graduate. After I went off to law school, I was about four hours away, and I didn't feel settled. My goal from high school was to become an attorney and eventually get back home and work. And there were a few terrible boyfriends along the way that tried to change that goal. Uh, but I still had it on my heart to get home. And after law school and passing the Kentucky Bar, I lived and worked in Louisville for a little while, but still had that unsettled feeling that I wasn't staying long and I didn't unpack any of my boxes. All it took was a rekindling of a middle school love with that tall drink of water in the back, <laughs> a few connections at home, and I landed the job that I had been ultimately wanting. I started as an assistant county attorney at the Hopkins County Child Support Office, and I've loved it. I dove into every opportunity, and as you heard Dr. Cousin's uh, laundry list of things that I'm involved in, I just took everything that I could um, and made it my own. I started to feel that same feeling that I'd found my place once again, like I had done here. I recently was a young alumni panel speaker for Leadership Westland, and Mary McDowell was reading my introduction and that laundry list of things that I'm involved in. And she looked at me and she's like, when do you sleep? Not a lot. Uh, I still keep going, but I love to be busy. Um, I love what I do. I love the marriage that I'm in. I love the child that we share. I love the many hats that I wear for my community, my career, and the opportunity to be able to speak to you all today. Where you're at now, this was something that I had dreamed of being eventually one day. I aspired to be a community changer, a mentor, a mother, and a wife, and I'd hoped that I would find that same feeling I had when I was here of finding my place once again. As I walked around campus during my time here at Kentucky Westland, I loved that I knew the name of every student and of every faculty member. And I love that Dr. Conroy was so invested in my success that he was even willing to call my mother to straighten me out. There's no better feeling than the feeling as though your abilities are wanted and needed in a community. So all of you sitting here today, administration combed through thousands of college applications and they picked you. They said that your abilities and your potential are needed here. They then have gone as far as to also recognize you today here at Honors Convocation and recognize those abilities and the, that potential you've brought to campus with you. So it sounds like to me that you also have found your place here. And so I challenge you with this. Remember this feeling of finding your place that you have here and take it and find it wherever you go next. Thank you. Right. Well, we have a number of awards to get to today, so as I call your name, please come forward. Uh, the, we'll begin with the Abernathy Chemistry Scholarship Award. This is given by Dr. Ernest Abernathy, a successful physician and surgeon of Atlanta, whose pre-medical education was acquired at Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award goes to a student who has qualities that predict successful achievement. This year, there are two worthy recipients. They are William Boltinghouse and Alyssa Zombert. Next, we have the American Chemical, Chemical Society's College Achievement Award. Um, these are given by the Indiana-Kentucky Border Section of the American Chemical Society. These awards go to the outstanding senior, junior, and sophomore 
chemistry majors. Our 2022 recipients are Angelique Lazure, Lauren, Lauren Mager, and Austin Sexton. Congratulations. The Art Program Award is given to the art student who shows a strong commitment to the visual arts as defined by a strong work ethic, a high degree of creative integrity, ability to think uh, critically, and is in the process of developing a personal language in a variety of materials. There are two recipients this year, Andrew Burke and Kobe Shrewsbury. The Dr. Clyde Bethel and Faye Babb Memorial Religion Award was established by family and friends in memory of Dr. Clyde Bethel Babb, a 1963 graduate of Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award is given to an outstanding junior or senior majoring in religion who has shown exceptional perseverance in the pursuit of his or her education and who demonstrates qualities that predict successful achievement. This year's recipient is Carson Ellis. The Edward L. Bevan Award is given in memory of Dr. Edward Bevan, who was a professor of religion at Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award goes to a religion major with a minimum 3.0 grade point average. And this year's recipient cannot be here today. It's Brandon Fugate. So let's give him a round of applause. And <laughs> and uh, moving on to the, the Business Roundtable Achievement Award goes to an outstanding senior majoring in accounting or business uh, administration, and this year's recipient is John Hayden. 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 John Gray Chaps Memorial Scholarship is given to a first-generation elementary education student. This year's recipient is Sarah Beaver. The Center for Business Studies Department Award goes to an outstanding continuing student majoring in accounting or business administration. And this year's recipient is Vincent, Vincent Watley. <laughs> the Center for Business Studies Service Learning Award goes to a student majoring in business who has at least a 3.0 grade point average and actively participates in campus life. This year's recipient is Lacey Mills. The Dr. Kirby Children Calculus Award was established in honor of Dr. Children's 42 years of dedicated service to Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award is given to the top calculus student for the academic year. This year's recipient is Christopher Mangold. The Chemical Rubber Company Award goes to the Outstanding Freshman Student in General chem Chemistry, and this year's recipient is Michaela Minton. <laughs> the 
The Chemistry Alumni Award is provided by the Kentucky Wesleyan College's uh, Chemistry Department alumni and goes to an upper class chemistry major who has demonstrated the potential to successfully pursue a career in chemistry or a chemistry related area. This year we have two recipients. They are Michaela Lowe and Austin Minton. The Clay Physical Education Award was given by the late Dr. and Mrs. Clay, the 1932 graduates of Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award is presented to the outstanding student in the field of health and physical education. This year's recipient is Sydney Lodgden. The John R. Combs Award for Literature was established by the family and friends of Kentucky Wesleyan College Professor Emeritus of English, John R. Combs, and goes to an outstanding senior, senior or junior English major who has achieved excellence in the study of literature. This year's recipient is Catherine Miller. Vicki Lyle Combs Memorial Award for Distinguished Writing is given in memory of the late Vicki Combs, beloved wife of Dr. John Combs. This award goes to a junior or senior student who has produced excellent writing in two or more creative genres. This year's recipient is uh, Kayla Butler. Connor Flaxum Magnuson Chemistry Award is given by Dr. Joseph E. Morton, a 1979 graduate of Kentucky Wesleyan, in gratitude for all the support and encouragement he received from Drs. Henry Connor, Robert Flash Flashsam, and W. L. Magnuson. This year's recipient is Connor Mangold. Christopher Mangold, yes. What did I say? Oh, sorry. He likes to go by Connor sometimes, right? No. All right, sorry about that. I ruined your moment. It won't be the last time I do that. All right. The Dr. William Conroy History Political Science Award is given in honor of Dr. William Conroy, Professor Emeritus of History and Political Science. This award goes to a history or political science major with a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0. This year's recipient is Jacob Marsh. The Criminal Justice Outstanding Student Award goes to a student who has outstanding academic achievement and shows promise in the criminal justice profession graduate school or law school. This year we have two recipients. They are Christopher Flick and Haley McGuire. <laughs> the Nelda's Peoples Daryl Scholarship is presented to a student who has distinguished themselves in the performing arts. This award is given in memory of lifelong educator and mother of Kentucky Wesleyan College's 34th president, Barton Daryl. Nelda Peoples Daryl had a lifelong commitment to the performing arts and to Kentucky Wesleyan College. This year's recipient is William Curtis. The 
Davenport Zoology Award was established to honor Professor of Biology Don Davenport, who served KWC from 1964 to 1999. This award is given to a senior zoology major who has pursued with passion the process of becoming a zoologist. This year's recipient is Anna Bolin. The Ebelhard Whitehead Junior Accounting Award is given to the Outstanding Junior Accounting Major. This year's recipient is Kayla Laster. The Philip R. Edwards Microbiology Award was established to honor the Owensboro native who became a world authority on bacteria that caused salmonella infections. This, this award is given to a student who displays enthusiasm, diligence, and a high level of achievement in academic microbiology. This year we have three worthy recipients, Lauren Petrosky, Aaron Sexsmith, and Abigail Tibbet. Hopefully you can Photoshop out my legs in these <laughs> pictures. The, the Faulkner Mathematics Award is given in memory of Kentucky Wesleyan mathematics professor, Dr. Leanne Faulkner, who worked to produce the best mathematics students possible. It is given to the top junior or senior mathematics major, and this year's recipient is Lauren Meager. The Karen Fisher Brasher Physics Chemistry Scholarship is awarded to two students who have demonstrated outstanding potential to pursue a career in chemistry or a chemistry related field. This year's recipients are Benjamin Bowen and Aaron Sexsmith. The Jane Forge Speech Drama Award is given to an outstanding student who excelled in the area of speech drama during the academic year. This year's recipient is Cole Richards. Dr. Paul W. Hagen Outstanding Junior Music Student Award recognizes a music student who has demonstrated performing excellence, outstanding scholarship, shown determination to pursue a professional career in music, and has made outstanding artistic contributions to the music program at Kentucky Wesleyan College. This year's recipient is Dakota DeGraw. Dr. Billy B. Horrell Memorial Education Scholarship was established by family and friends in memory of Dr. Billy B. Horrell, Professor Emeritus. It is presented to a rising junior or senior education major who has a 3.0 GPA and shows exceptional dedication and leadership in the pursuit of their education. This year's recipient is Kayla Mattingly.
The William Bruce Horrell History Political Science Scholarship was established by family and friends in memory of William Bruce Horrell and goes to an outstanding sophomore or junior history political science major. And this year's recipient is David Ams. He couldn't join us today, but thank you, David. The Institute of Management Accountants Award was given by the Owensboro Chamber and goes to a graduating senior who has attained the highest honors in accounting studies. This year's recipient is Jessica Rice. The Dan M. King Library Service Award was established in memory of Professor Emeritus Dan M. King, KWC librarian from 1954 to 1981, and goes to a returning student currently employed by the KWC Library in recognition of job excellence. The recipient is selected by the library staff on the basis of job performance, scholarship, and service. This year's recipient is Eric Lyons. Louise Kramer Memorial Scholarship is presented to a rising sophomore, junior, or senior who is an outstanding special education student and is based on uh, academic progress and service to the field. This year's recipient is Maverick Hardley and is presented by Scott Kramer. Merrick Hardley. Merrick. The Nola Gentry Magruder Scholarship was established by the late Sally Stanford, uh, Staniford, sorry, uh, 1963 graduate and longtime dedicated supporter of Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award is to assist a student wishing to pursue a career in nursing. This year's recipient is Danielle Nelson. The Modern Welding Company Incorporated Psychology Award was established by the Modern Welding Company and goes to a junior or senior majoring in psychology with a cumulative GPA of at least 3.3 and a major GPA of 3.5 and honors a student who has made distinctive contributions in psychology either in research, in the classroom, or in the community. This year's recipient is Kendall Wolf. The Dolores Murphy Scholarship is given to two students and was initiated by uh, Mrs. Murphy's friends and family to honor her spirit of giving and servant leadership. The students receiving this award exemplify her earnest desire to help those in need and to contribute to the betterment of society. This year's recipients are Jaden Freeman and uh, Lauren Warner. The Larry Knopfsinger Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Larry Knopfsinger, a 1958 graduate of Kentucky Wesleyan College and admissions recruiter from 1996 until 2012 in the Madisonville area. This award is given to a student from the Commonwealth of Kentucky who is in good academic standing. This year's recipient is Kaylin Sweat. The Paul Oakley Memorial Award for Leadership and Service was established in memory of Professor Paul Oakley, who served as KWC Choral Director and is given to a music student who has shown excellence in leadership and service. 
This year's recipient is Matthew Morris. The Dr. Gus E. Paris Friendship Award is given by Dr. Ernest Abernathy. This award goes to a student that shows sustained friendliness in honor of that same characteristic manifested by Dr. Gus E. Paris. This year's recipient is the very friendly Turner Vaughn. The Gus E. Paris Scholarship Award was established by the alumni of Kentucky Wesleyan College and goes to a junior majoring, majoring in political science who has intentions of going to law school. This year's winner cannot be here, but it is uh, Christina Verbal. 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 The Peters Chemistry Scholarship Award was given by Dr. and Mrs. C. Kenneth Peters. Uh, 1955 and 1957 alumni of Kentucky Wesleyan College. This award goes to a distinguished student in chemistry, preferably, but not necessarily in that area of pre-medicine. This year's recipient is Uriel Gonzalez. So the Provost Award for Excellence is a new award category uh, created out of a need to recognize some truly outstanding student achievements in areas outside of tr traditional award categories. Uh, this year's winners have all achieved notable success in their chosen fields and have been nominated by uh, faculty mentors. So what I'd like to do is bring up the faculty uh, mentors and nominators um, to help present the award. So we'll begin with uh, Professor Dow. And we'd like to recognize uh, Vincent Wheatley, a business administration major. Uh, Vincent has a, a very, very busy summer ahead of him. He was uh, accepted into the American Economic Association summer program and has a litany of accomplishments that are really worth noting. Um, He's, he's extended uh, uh, ex expedited graduate school uh, preparation in advanced economic theory and econometrics. He's worked with nonprofit or organizations in Washington, D.C. Um, he's published articles. He's, he's just an outstanding student. So, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> right. uh, I'd like to next um, bring up um, Andrew Bolin and Heather Lodgson, if they're. Oh, there's Andrew. All right, Professor Bolin. Um, and we'd like to recognize Veronica Kamir. Kamir. <laughs> Veronica won the Broadcast Education Association's Festival of Media Arts Award. Uh, this is a premier international academic media organization driving insights, excellence in media production and career achievement for educators, students, and professionals. Um, a five-minute reel-based submission in the student on-air personality competition uh, included talk sets and ramps in and out of songs and so segments. I'm not sure what ramps are, but um, this is an exceptional award, and she was she was uh, noted for this in the uh, I believe the uh, the Messenger Inquirer. So congratulations, Veronica. Um, and lastly, um, uh, Professor um, uh, Trulin, if you could join us on stage. We'd like to recognize um, successful completion of the William Lowell Putman competition. The competition, if you're not familiar with it, is uh, the preeminent mathematics competition for undergraduate college students in the United States and Canada. It consists of 12 problems over the course of six hours with a possible total score of 120 points. In most years, a majority of students will score zero points. All four students from KWC were awarded points 
uh, for their submission, and each ranked in the top 50% of participants. KWC, uh, as an institution, was ranked 213 of the 427 schools that took part in the competition. Um, those participating were, and we'd like to bring to the stage, Brian uh, Basham, William Boltinghouse, Benjamin Bowen, and Samantha Dalbeck. Mathematicians. <laughs> All right, the Powell Peace Award is given in memory of Bobby Wayne Powell, a 1968 graduate of Kentucky Wesleyan College who was killed in the Vietnam War. Preference is given to a student who exemplifies an interest in and commitment to peacemaking efforts around the world. The student may be concentrating his or her studies in the area of international relations, history, political science, or religion. This year's recipient is Adon Kano Gandorila. The Henry Milton Piles Biology Award goes to an outstanding junior or senior biology major. This year's recipient is Austin Minton. <laughs> the Gilbert P. Robertson Pre-Ministerial Award was established by Mrs. Thorpe L. Wolford, in honor and recognition of the lifelong ministry of Reverend Robertson. This award goes to a religion major or minor with a minimum 3.0 GPA. This year's recipient is Logan Lake. Sarah Brackett Roop Award for Outstanding Service to the Community Through Music goes to a music major or minor with at least a 2.5 GPA who uses their musical ability to serve in their church or in the community at large. This year's recipient is Reagan Brown. D. Wendell Smith Business Administration Scholarship is given by family and friends in memory of Wendell Smith. It goes to a student who demonstrates outstanding academic achievement in the general areas of business administration, marketing, management, and finance. This year's recipient is Gabrielle Mendez. Teacher Education Awards go to juniors or senior students who have at least a 3.5 overall GPA and who have been admitted into teacher education. Uh, this year's recipients are Jasmine Perry, Emery Kroom, Mackenzie Pope, and Dakota DeGraw. Jasmine, Emery, McKenzie, and Dakota, in that order. The 
the Jerry Trinkle, oh, sorry, apologies. The, the Jerry Trinkle Accounting Award goes to a senior who has demonstrated the aptitude, attitude, and character to be a positive addition to the accounting profession. This year's recipient is Cameron Blandford. <laughs> the Reverend Erskine Wade Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Reverend Erskine Wade, Sr. The recipient must maintain a 2.5 or higher GPA, participate in social and community activities at KWC, uh, and among them must be the Black Student Union. This year's recipient is Yogiana McKnight. Wall Street Journal Student Achievement Award goes to the Outstanding Graduating Business Major. This year's recipient is Elijah Easterday. <laughs> the WKWC Communication Award uh, the WKWC and Owensboro Municipal Utilities established this award for the outstanding student staff member at Kentucky Wesleyan College in the broadcasting area. This award, the awarded student, is selected based on his or her contribution to the operation of KWC, WKWC and academic excellence within communication arts. This year's recipient is Andrew Burke. This time I'd like to bring to the stage Evan Morton to announce the Outstanding Teacher of the Year and the Outstanding Staff Person of the Year. <laughs> the students at Kentucky Wesleyan College are lucky to be surrounded by supportive, caring, and encouraging faculty and staff who are committed to making us better. Each year, the Student Government Association recognizes a faculty and staff member that went above and beyond to contribute to the Kentucky Wesleyan experience. SGA nominates candidates and then the entire student body votes. Will the following nominees for Faculty of the Year please stand? Dr. Lisa Clark, Music. <laughs> Professor Ch Professor Chelsea Dow, Economics. <laughs> Dr. Rachel Pritchard, Biology. <laughs> Dr. Eric Schmidt, Political Science. <laughs> and Dr. Christina Starkey, Mathematics. Congratulations to each of these nominees, and thank you for your commitment to the education of our students. The 2021-2022 Outstanding Faculty Member of the Year is Dr. Rachel Pritchard. Following employees are nominated for Staff Member of the Year. If you're present, please stand. Debbie Benenfield, Facilities. <laughs> D. 
Derek Hancock, WKWC. <laughs> Danielle Holmes, Facilities. <laughs> Jessica Leslie, Aladdin Food Services. and James Michael Parks, Facilities. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these nominees. <laughs> so the winner of the 2021-2022 Staff Member of the Year is Ms. Danielle Holmes. Every year we present a faculty member with the Advisor of the Year Award, which is based totally on student input. A good advisor is a faculty member who is available, provides good information, and cares deeply about the student academic status. They help students overcome problems and give good career counseling. Uh, this year's winner is Dr. Kyle Beesing. So I'd like to, at this time, announce the 2022-2023 Kentucky Wesleyan Fellows. Um, as I announce your names, uh, please rise. Um, they are uh, Benjamin Bowen, working with, uh, as faculty supervisor, uh, Dr. John Sinclair. Uh, <laughs> Jenna Burns, working with Dr. Jeremy Gibson. Caden Glantz, working with Dr. Jessica Fulgoni. <laughs> Catherine Keller, also working with Dr. Jessica Fulgoni. Uh, Emma Lees, also working with Dr. Jessica Fulgoni. Outstanding budding historian Jacob Marsh, working with James Cousins. And Kaylee Martin, working with Dr. Jessica Fulgani. Thank you. Well, that concludes this year's ceremony. Thank you all for coming. What we're, we'll ask you to do is remain seated as our faculty pro, pro, profess, uh, process. What? Sorry. I'm sorry? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that in the program? That's not in my script. Well, I'm going to leave the stage before we begin singing. Please stand. Please rise.
is my desire Consume me like a fire Cause I just want Something beautiful to touch me of your hands and I know it's perfect grace beyond measure a love that's unending these are the works of your hands I love how you do things sing No fear. 
sing about his faithfulness in every season, in every storm, in every high, in every low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to sing about. to sing about it Sometimes I don't have any words But I've always got a melody yeah. 